start of the 22nd World Championships for ITU, the Dextro Energy Grand Final here in beautiful Budapest. All eyes will be on that woman right there. Can Emma Moffitt win her second consecutive World Championship? 16 degree water temperature and wetsuits being worn by all of the women. Certainly much better conditions today than for the men yesterday. And you can just see the thrashing and very quickly, Sarah Haskins from the United States, the Olympian taking the pace out very quickly. The US with four women in the top 10, some great swimmers and Jenkins out of the water next to Haskins. Remember those two women broke away at the Vancouver World Championships to be one two at the end of that World Champs. Can they do the same here today? A small group with the possibility of breaking away. There's Emma Moffat. She is not down by much out of the water, trying to get out of the wetsuit and quickly into that group as they head away out onto the bikes. It's a six kilometer ride to get into the downtown section of Budapest and then six different smaller loops on the technical section. Nicholas Birik out right there with a great swim. And there is Lisa Norton. She's back by about 40 plus seconds. She's gonna need a quick transition to get out there very quickly. Emma Snowsill's had a fantastic swim today. And right there, Andrea Hewitt right now down by 55 seconds. That is a tough position. She doesn't have many people to work with. Andrea Hewitt right now, who is up for the number one ranked woman in the world at the day's end, is in a very difficult position. Back into the downtown section. It is six loops up and over the bridge each time. A huge crowd here. 4,000 age groupers have had a chance to race here in Budapest. They'll all be out onto the streets. And there is the Parliament Building. Some of the athletes having a chance to meet the president just a few days ago. He is on site as one of the patrons of the event. And very quickly, Carrie Lang pushing the pace. You can see a large group of women now coming together. About 35 or 40 now coming together. Paula Finley has now got into that group as well. The only real athletes missing from this main bunch include the likes of Barbara Ramirez and also Andrea Hewitt, and they'll certainly be frustrated as they are much further back than they'd like to be. There's Ramirez right there, and Andrea Hewitt trying desperately to get back into this race. They're down right now by about 55 seconds and losing time. And as they come back across the carpet, you have to think that Emma Moffat is in a very solid position here. She certainly would love to get rid of one or two of the other women that are up for grabs for the World Championship title, and that includes Lisa Norden, as well as Nicholas Spirik. And we're taking a look right there at Andrea Hewitt. She is trying desperately to get some of the women to help her. Norden now, who has a chance to win the World Championships, up in the league group. She's had a couple of great bikes this year and would love to try to get away. What a great helicopter shot. How close can that helicopter get down to these athletes? It's been a phenomenal weekend of racing here in Budapest. Look at the crowd. They're standing on their feet. It is a beautiful day here. No question about it. They're coming off the bike. A group of about 40 plus women and it's gonna come down to the run and in that group includes Emma Snowsill. She certainly has had a great swim and bike today. Does she have the run legs that we saw her use in Des Moines, Iowa when she won the $200,000 first place? If she does, I don't think anyone will have a chance to go with her. Still Lisa Norton having a chance to win the gold. Just heading out there was Emma Moffat as well. There's Eileen Morrison from Ireland. There's Moffat trying to get out there quickly. Kate Roberts in a great position. Up and over the bridge for the first of four times. Look at the crowd. They've been here for hours cheering on the age groupers. And now it's time for the elite women to race. Just perfect conditions, all about 20 degrees. A little bit of a breeze. These women certainly aren't gonna have environmental issues today. There's Lisa Norden moving very, very quickly. Moffat as well. Nicola Spirik into that bunch. And there's Emma Snowsill. Look at her. She is turning over at an incredible rate here very early on. No question that she is the class runner when she's in good form. Most of the season have been a bit of a difficulty, but Emma Snowsill right now is running away from the best women in the entire world. And she is absolutely on fire. Taking a bit of fluid in. She's only had two great races this season. Can this be her big one to win the grand final? She doesn't have a chance of winning the world championships because she hasn't picked up enough points. Hauling into that lead group, there's Nicholas Spirik, and she's moving very, very well. There they come. Jenkins, who has been on the podium at a couple world championships, would love to do it one more time. She had a great race racing at home. Paula Finley right now back in seventh place, trying to bridge up. She's let those women get away from her and very difficult for the 21-year-old from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. You can see her there in the backdrop in the red suit. She's gonna have to bridge up if she wants any chance. Carol Pion having a great run. She's got into that lead group as well, but everyone losing time. Emma Snowsill 80 seconds up right now and running faster and faster away from the women. 
It is no question that she is going to be the grand final champion. Now the question is who will be the world champion after the entire series and all three women who have a chance of winning are in this group. There is Paula Finley. She has bridged up. It is down to a final 800 meters. Incredibly, these women are running very, very quickly. Nobody near Emma Snowsill. She will have time to enjoy the blue carpet and win the grand final. You have to believe that 2011 will be a fantastic year if she can show any of the fitness that she put together today. She had a great swim. She sat in on the bike and did the work she needed to do, and then a decimating run. She'll be about 33 minutes flat, almost 90 seconds ahead of the rest of the women on the run field. Emma Snowsill, the three-time world champion, the Olympic Games gold medalist, will cross the line to win the grand final, and it is great to see that beautiful smile one more time. Australia will win the grand final, but now down for the world championships. Here's Paula Finley, Nicholas Spirit. Here comes Lisa Norton trying to make the run. There goes around the corner, 400 meters to go. They're onto the blue carpet. Nicholas Spirit in a chance to win. Here comes Emma Moffat as well. There's Lisa Norton. They're going for the sprint finish. If Moffat finishes top four, she will be the world champion. Here she comes. Spirit on the run. Here she comes side by side. It is Emma Moffat. What an incredible final 50 meters. Can Emma Moffat win her second world championship? Nicholas Spirit trying to stop her. But here comes Emma Moffat. And with five meters to go, she will win the world championships and come second here in Budapest. Spirit will cross the line. There's Lisa Norton. There's Paula Finley. Unbelievable. Holland crosses the line as well. Jenkins in there. What a fantastic race. Bennett crosses Peon, but the day belongs to Emma Snowsill for the victory in the grand final and the world championship to Emma Moffat. The women are on the turf. What a great final. And there it is, the bronze medal for the world championships. Nicholas Spirik, what a great finish. She started the year off finishing off her law degree, so full-time studies until April. A world championship is going to be there by the end of the day for Moffitt, who is second in the grand final, and that's who we're recognizing right now. And this, in fact, will be Emma Moffitt's victory, the second big win of the year. There's the president of Hungary showing his appreciation and a beautiful smile by Australia's Emma Snowsill, the grand final champion. We'll recognize the world champions in just a minute. But what a great day and beautiful to see the smile. The president, Schmidt, from Hungary, he had the ITU over for a little party in the parliament buildings a few days ago, a former Olympic gold medalist in fencing, and Emma Snowsill getting her recognition from the IOC and ITU delegates, and that is Marisol Casada, the ITU president. Time to recognize Australia, and this will be the 13th time in 22 years that Australia has won a world championship title on the women's side. No country coming close to dominating like Australia, dating way, way back to McKilly Jones. Lisa Norton, what a great finish to her season. She started off with injuries, didn't even race in Sydney, but she certainly has put it together. And she will be the bronze medalist for 2010. She was the sprint world champion just a few weeks ago in Switzerland. And a huge crowd coming out here to recognize and stick around for the end of a great day of racing. Nicholas Spirik will be the silver medalist for 2010, the Dexter Energy World Champion silver medalist. And what a great season has been for her. Imagine when she can fully dedicate herself. Now with the law degree under her belt, she'll be able to put a whole winter of training in in 2011, and that's gotta be tough for the rest of the women. But nobody had a better season than Emma Moffat, the two-time world champion, Olympic Games bronze medalist and she will go home and be able to carry that mantle for 12 more months. She was a 2009 world champion, and she does it again. What a great season, as we said, the 13th time that Australia has won the world championships of the 22 years. That is absolute domination. United States having won it four times, nobody else even close. Sarah Springman, the ITU vice president, showing her appreciation to a great athlete after a fantastic season, and it has been all Australia all weekend, winning the junior women's title, the 23 and under women's title, and the senior women's title, the first time that that has ever been done on the women's side, one country winning all three titles, and as we leave Budapest, it has been a world-class weekend for age group junior and elite racing, and the women have done a great job, Emma Moffat, having a chance to hear that anthem one more time and what a brilliant day it has been. The rain has stayed away. The overcast conditions have been absolutely perfect for fast racing. And with literally 
4,000 plus age groupers and 25,000 spectators at the finishing line. These women have certainly put on a fantastic show. It'll just be six months before they start the 2011 season back in Sydney, Australia. And what an incredible year it has been. $3 million given away in prize money. And Emma Moffat having a chance now to take a bit of a vacation, she said. She and Brad Cullifelt. Time to celebrate now. The two Australian women, the only one with the uh, champagne in their hands, are absolutely blasting Sweden and Switzerland. And finally now, Nicola Spirit gets her champagne a chance to get back. And finally a chance to bring the end of an incredible second season of the Dextro Energy I2 World Championships.